Hi and welcome to another Type with me. This week I want to talk about validating JSON with AGV. AGV stands for another JSON validator, right? And it's a very great uh, library with uh, a lot of um, contributions and also very well maintained. So let's dive into AGV. Well, AGV is open source, right? So you will see that it has a lot of great sponsors like Mozilla and great explanation on the site itself. If you go to GitHub, you will see here that the latest commit was from five days ago, which also replies to that this library is really good maintained. A lot of people are using it. so. I can only recommend to use it as well. The first thing that I did was looking at Skypack, if AGV was available there and if we could use it there. So we can use it there. Uh, it has some sort of an uh, ECMAScript module uh, functionality there. So I would like to use it within Dino. It's very easy for me to demo it to you guys. So why not? And then, of course, I just did const agv, where I said that I want to have a new agv class, and I said that I want to have all the errors, right? And then I did console.log. If you do so, you will see that it just runs out of the blue. Of course, I already downloaded agv, so it's already there. But okay, I get an object back. And that's great. All right, so now we need to define a schema. So next thing that we need to do is just provide a schema, right? And this schema is a very easy schema. It's of type object. It has no additional properties. Uh, you require hello. And then your properties is of type hello. And that type is a string. So the next thing that I would like to do after yeah, just providing the schema is, of course, create our object that we want to validate. So in this case, it's object, right? It has an hello property in it. And then just a string, my name is starting with a G. Then you can do const test equals agv dot compile. And then your schema. Then we have our test, right? And then, of course, we need to see if it's valid. So we can do const is valid. Then we have our test. So we can do test and then provide object. And so if it's valid, yeah, we will just say to the console console.log is valid question mark, then we just say that we return our object. If it's not valid, well, then we will return our errors, right? So in my opinion, it's a very great library, especially when the new data economy is really starting out here. You will see that a lot of these kind of tools will have uh, JSON uh, schemes into it. And then if you just have this one, you can very easily um, test it out if your schema is valid. All right. So now if I do dino run index.ts, right, I'm going to execute it. And here we go. We have our object back. What I want to do is I want to remove this one, right? I'm going to execute it again. And then, of course, we will have the same kind of result. Now, if we're going to uh, extend, for example, we say here, uh, uh, comma, world, world, one, I don't know. I'm going to save this. And then, of course, you will see that it will return an error. Yeah, that's true. We have an error right here. I'm going to see what it is. 
error instant path schema path additional properties keyword additional properties additional property world must not have additional properties right so if you allow additional properties then hello yeah, just hello is a bare minimum and the rest you don't care you can just say here additional properties to true then you just execute it again and you are just fine right so another thing that I just want to show you is, for example, here, if we say hello with a V and I'm going to execute it. Just going to execute it. Right? So what will it be? Yeah. He's also going to say that, yeah, you don't want to have additional property so I'm gonna put it again to true for example and then you say here missing uh, property hello uh, another thing that would be nice is just put if we just say worlds I'm just also learning a little bit about JSON schemes but I think it's numeric, I'm not sure. Or number, I think it's number. We say here that hello is required and world is not required. Additional properties to false. Okay, so I'm going to put here hello. And then we're just going to execute it. Normally this should be fine, right? And that's fine so you see i really learn also how to write nice json schemes um i'm, I'm, I'm gonna put here world again world one for example if i execute it you will normally see i need to save it very sorry i need to save this and voila it's just working so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned a little bit about what are json schemes how can you just write play around with it these are just the basics of, of, of creating a little bit of your json schema but again for me it's pretty straightforward uh, right because you have your required if we say okay world is also required then you can add it there because your object needs to consist of hello and world there so uh, you get my point of course if you search for a json schema um, specification you will find some answers on the internet as well so that's something i also can recommend for example if you want to know which different kind of types there are there so then you can just uh, check it out which uh, kind of types there are but i think string and number are of course um, ones that are very important and i think the most used ones of course like you see here you have also the type object it can be that a property is of a type object and then you can just define that object again have also arrays right it's also a little bit more complex because you can have an array and that array also consists of a json object and maybe also a json schema so you can also refer to that json schema and so on but we don't go too deep too far into detail into this tutorial because of course it will distract us a little bit more I hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you had something uh, if you could extract something out of this video uh, and if you are not um, registered on my channel please um, do so and subscribe to my channel thank you very much and see you next time